Hi, I'm Grandmaster Von Typhoon, and this is Vonny's vlog. And I am Master Alec. Yes, you finally get to see me. So exciting, right? Oh, yes. Great to have you here, Alec. Thank you. All right, so what are we going to be talking about today? We are going to be discussing the SR and RL situation and the RP PvP battle going on within our own guild. Yes, isn't that fantastic? We are fighting within ourselves. Oh, yes. yes. Okay, so, um... The RP PvP situation. Uh, apparently, a lot of people switch their their decisions um, from wanting to go to PvP to RP. Do you know why this is going on? Well, a lot of people really like personal freedom, and they want to be able to pick whether or not to flag or unflag themselves for PvP. So, a lot of people have switched from PvP to RP. However, there are still some people hanging on to it, and there is a lot of not fighting but conflict going on in the guild about which side to take. Yeah. I was I uh, was sending messages to a few of the Bioware people on StarWarsWorldThePublic.com, and they are refusing to tell me what if like they're trying to like say that oh we'll explain everything about the server situations and future videos close to the game release. So I'm not sure if you can flag or unflag yourself in PvP yet, but we know for a fact we can in the RP server. So um, depending on if they tell us or not. If we can flag ourselves for PvP or non-PvP in the PvP server when you want to quest, we might end up going RP to the RP server. Exactly. Right now we are going to assume that we cannot unflag in PvP because that's how it has been traditionally in MMOs. And if that is the case, then we will most likely be going on an RP server unless almost all of the guild is opposed to it. Because a lot of people... Uh, on both sides have said that they are refusing to go to the other side and if we choose one way or another they will put their main on a different server from the rest of the guild and then they will put our alt on us and I'm not going to name names here because I don't want anyone to be attacked I don't want anything like that but I also like PvP more I you know you guys know that about me I fought the hardest for it and it's incredibly selfish of you guys to like not go along with the guild especially in an RP server where you still get to choose I mean, if you get to choose, fine, maybe half the people will be unflagged, but can't you deal with that? Come on, guys, really? Right, yeah. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, so, uh, also, I was watching a few videos that Tyrannus posted in the forum, and it was like an interview, oh, it was, it was Daniel Erickson playing, uh, on the live stream, and he was talking about, um, when people are questing, he said, like, I, think, I believe it was the video where he was playing on Tatooine. He said that, like, yeah, this place is going to be a humongous war zone even when you're trying to quest because everyone will be always fighting and Tatooine is a pretty neutral planet. So if in RP, in the RP server, I mean, if, um, if you flag yourself for, like, non-PVP and you want to quest, what's going to happen when you run into a Sith person on, like, a neutral planet and he's flagged for RP, like, he's not going to be able to attack you. Just so you know, guys, in the war zone, there is no flagging for PvP. If you enter a war zone, you're automatically flagged. So on Tatooine, it doesn't make a difference anyway. You're still going to be flagged when you quest. So you're going to have to go with group no matter which server we choose. It's just a fact of life. Yes. And also, another problem is um, our allies. I know that OA is going to definitely follow us to RP if we decide to choose that. But Sotor and is pretty pretty determined to stay on PvP, so I'm not sure if they're going to follow us. And Smuggler's Union is definitely going to follow uh, Saints, so I'm not sure if we, we might lose them as allies if we decide to change servers. Well, all I'm going to say, Bond, there's a lot of personal, a very uh, personal infighting within our own guild about which side. So let's, our guild comes before anyone else. We need to choose for what's better for us. And then we can try to convince Saints of the Old Republic and SEO will just follow them. Right. And you see, if we do choose the personal freedom way, which is the way that I'm leading, I am fairly certain that we can convince, um, what's his name, Joel, Joel May? Yeah, Joel May. I'm fairly certain that we can convince Joel May to see our uh, point of view, and then Zhao Tan or whatever from uh, Sada, who we've only met once. Actually, come to think of it, we did a meeting soon, right? Yeah, yeah we, we did a, a meeting for all of our allies. Yes, we haven't had one of those in a while, and I think that this is the perfect time for one, right when uh, more info's coming out. Exactly. Dustin? Dustin? Yeah? Throw me up a roll of paper towels, please. That... I will be right back.
I have returned. Welcome back. Thank you. Yeah. Cause that's fun. Indeed. <laughs> Alright. Um Uh well, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, I I know that like we're trying to put our guild before like our allies, but I mean if people have friendly relations with uh, other guilds that are in our uh, that are in our like conglomerate alliance, we might not want to lose those allies. And also, uh, Sotor is a very a very powerful guild. I think it's ranked like twenty something out of all the guilds in game members wise. Overall, including Sith, we're yeah. like thirtieth in the Republic alone, yeah. which is still amazing considering how many people there are out there. Exactly. And also, one last thing: uh, if we go to the RP server. There might not be any point. Well, there there'll be a somewhat point of having the base system because you know how. That's a good point. Because uh, in PvP, uh, apparently, like as much as we know, you can't flag for not wanting the PvP at the moment. So with the base system on PvP servers, it makes sense because you know people are gonna be specifically gonna be passing through like the a street or somewhere where our base is located and we can stop them from doing what they want to do and try and attack them and take their weapons and stuff but on RP servers if people are questing they're definitely gonna be uh, PvP off and basically they're just gonna walk right by our base and we can't do anything about it and we might we're not even sure if we can actually make a base on RP servers let alone PvP servers well so. I'm almost positive right now that it is impossible to make a physical structural base I, it was always my understanding that we would have to just, um, just camp out in the woods or in a spot and just wait for people to come by, and it would be almost like a base. Also, something to think about, the base system was invented by Monty, and Monty was always hell-bent on an RP server. Shout out to you, Monty. And, um, I think his original intention, since it was going to be an RP server, was for the war zones. He chose the first base to be on Alderaan, because that was the big war zone. So... I think that the base system could be used um, a lot in the war zone because it's offensive and defensive, and we could right. take strategic points and team up with other Republic guilds, and also we could use it once in a while maybe for questing in the world, you know, just to have like a battle pack around you, and it, that'll make questing that much more fun if you have a bunch of people all flagged. Exactly. Yeah. Perfect point. And of course, after we decided to make the Alderaan base, there was the Balmora by Denth, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Hoth is co-led by Helm and Mop. Yep. Nick. Yep, and then there's also the base by you. Yeah. Thus. Um, me? Okay, no. That's Alec, alright? Yeah. Yes, he does not. Yes. If you haven't figured it out, yeah, if you haven't you figured it out, out check it. Yes, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, the Voss base. Did you actually make a website for yours? Because apparently everyone's making websites. Of course not. I don't care. We're the best base anyway. I mean, come on. We've got me, and we've got a few other people. <laughs> right. Um... So yeah, that's the PvP RP situation. We don't know what we're going to do about that yet, but we will see. Okay, guys, I'm just going to say this right now. Everybody stick together, stay close, don't let this get in the way of our friendship, okay? What we need to do is we just need to forget about this until more info has come out, and then we'll make the difficult decision. But exactly. we, are, I am leaning RP right now, and we'll just see what happens. Alright, I'm pretty neutral myself, because... You know, you've talked me into yeah. like going I, more to the RP side. Like you, got, you all know, I do like PvP. That was my first choice. But personal freedom always wins out over preferences. Right. And, okay, so that was that. The SR and RL situation. Okay. So a lot has been going on with SR and RL. As far as I know, RL never had more than five members anyway. Ever since they broke off from CIS. And SR actually did have a, quite a few. And there's been a mass exodus from them. And we've taken in about five of their members. A lot have gone to NAR. Uh, a lot have left the community. A lot have gone inactive. Right now, they're down to like five themselves. So, what's going on with them is actually I'm not exactly sure. So you can take over now. Um. Well, basically, I'm not sure if RL actually has any members at the moment because the only RL person I've actually seen so Carter. far is Carter. And, yes, he was, uh, from what we know, Cantus spied on us and was working, well, was working with Thorag from RL. Who was working for Carter, so it was like a... A chain. Yeah. Of, yeah, so, but, um, I was, uh, there was a situation in Thorag's chat, where, which he leads, it, it was basically the, um, the breakup 
Well, you know how TR and NAR merged to make TAR? Well, Rhinor, the leader of TR, broke off and, and wanted to split up the merger, so it would be TR and NAR again. And apparent, I was called into the chat, and, I th and you were called in the second time. Like, was I? Well, didn't Thorag ask for your help? No, he was, he was just pissing me. Oh, well. Uh, <clears throat> I, I was brought into the chat because... It was basically a mosh pit of guilds yelling at each other. I'm not even gonna lie. There was SR people bashing Thorag. There was a, there was uh, TR people yelling at Cantus for some reason. There was an, a random AR person there. I'm not sure what he was yeah. doing there. And then there was Carter who just who was just sitting there doing nothing. And he PC'd me. He was like, "Hey Vaughn, why is it that whenever something goes down, you're always there?" I'm like, "I don't know." Yeah, just like with the ROT with like five guilds. Exactly. There. Exactly. Um, well. I was talking to Carter and PC, and we made up. Like he realized what he did was extremely wrong, and he wished that he would, he would have told Thorag and Cantus. Like he would have said, like you know, what, never mind. This is a bad idea. But you know, the past is the past. We have to move on. Cantus, I know that you were actually kind of angry at what I said in the vlog, so I'm actually going. I'm, I'm apologizing. I'm sorry that I kind of bashed you in the vlog. But you have to realize what you did was pretty disgusting. I'm not gonna lie. I. I Still kind of mad about it, but I'll get over it. I always do. We hate spies. If any of you guys that already have spies right now, get rid of them right now. Yeah. We're coming for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, um, if you didn't see, like, the guild, the guild ranks page, like, we're not really using that at the moment. But if you see the GID, which is Guild Intelligence Department, I lead that. Here's the difference between what I do and what other people are doing. When I say spy, I don't mean join another guild and get information on like basically everything that's completely pointless. I mean get a person from our guild and maybe like scout. Go, yes, yeah. scout. Scout, basically like that. You run like you see where their bases are, but you don't actually join the guild and lie to the leaders and stuff because that's ruining the game for everyone. And no it's infiltration. Nobody likes that. It ruins it for everyone. They think they have a member that did look. We've had um, spying before. We've gotten really attached to members that we really liked, and then it's turned out that they were spies. They left. We lose a member. We lose moral. It's just uh, yeah. morale. Sorry. It's just everybody loses in that situation. Exactly. And um, I know a lot of people were very close to Cantus, and I feel that when I just announced that Cantus was a spy, I kind of broke a lot of people's spirits. Well, I I'm sorry, but you know what? SH should happen, so we gotta move on. Um, so, yeah, but besides that, uh, recently, I'm not sure if Cantus. Well, Cantus told Thorag in Sky on Skype that uh, his brother died in the army. And Thorag does know Cantus in uh, real life, so I trust Thorag enough to believe that yeah. this time it's actually true. Yeah, and, and uh, Thorag was telling me that over Skype, Cantus was actually crying, so. I mean, people can say that he's that he lied before. Once a liar, always a liar. But we don't we don't know for a fact or not. We're never going to really know. I don't want to get involved in the situation there, so we have to just move on and just just wish Cantus like like sorry for your loss, but don't get attached to him again because we don't know what he's going to do next, right? Exactly. And also, Thorai did PC me this morning. That's what I was talking about. Apparently, a member of ours. Once again, going to keep it quiet who it was was um, sent Thor uh, Candace an email. He didn't really break any rules or anything. He didn't curse. He didn't say any slurs. But he, he was angry. And Candace, because of his loss, uh, took it pretty hardly. So what happened was Candace follow uh, did what Thorag told him to. And Thorag did that because Carter told him to. So And Carter is sorry for that. So Thorag and Candace, they both believe that following orders is number one priority. So we can't truly blame them. I mean, sure, I'm sure no one in RD would follow a spying order because we all do have morals, but if they don't, who are we to judge, you know? So, right. cut them some slack, don't attack them for it, and Carter, sorry, so don't attack him. Let's just act like it never happened. Right. Maybe not trust them, but don't attack them either. Right. Um, so, uh, besides the situation with NAR and TR, and RL, the the situation with SR. Um, 